Hello guys, it's Boston Reads Everything. Today we are going to be reading in our science encyclopedia about solids, liquids, and gases. Matter is any physical substance or object that exists in the three dimensions of space. It can be as huge as a planet or a star or as small as one atom or even as tiny as, a sub, as the subatomic particles inside an atom. Whatever its size, matter also exists in one of three main forms. These are solid, li liquid, and gas. They are called the three states of matter. A house brick, lump of wood, or sheet of steel are solid. The gasoline for a car engine or the oil for cooking food are liquid. A cylinder of oxygen in a hospital or an empty room contains gases. Each form of matter has its own features and properties, but the atoms and molecules in matter do not change for each different state. What changes is the way that the atoms or molecules can move out, move about, or the way they are forced to stay still. Changing states. The same matter or substance can change state from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas. These, pros these processes are called melting and boiling and are shown on the next page. Another change of state happens when substances burn or combust in a vehicle engine. Liquid gasoline sprays into the cylinders inside the engine along with air containing oxygen. The gasoline catches fire and burns rapidly, combining the oxygen in a mini explosion. The result is not another liquid, but a variety of gases. These leave the engine as exhaust fumes. The problem with gases. Gases flow and expand, spreading out in all directions to fill their container. So the exhaust fumes from every vehicle spread out evenly through the through their container. The Earth's atmosphere the the Earth's atmosphere. This is why pollution from vehicles is a worldwide problem. Science discovery. Emilio Avogadro, seventeen seventy six through eighteen fifty six worked as a lawyer before taking up science and becoming a becoming professor of physics. In about 1811, he imagined a row of the same size containers, each held a different gas, but at the same temperature and pressure. Avogadro said that he would be exactly the same number of atoms or molecules in each container. This is now known as Av Avogadro's Law. Equal volumes of all gases when at the same t temperature and pressure have the same numbers of atoms or molecules. See through solid. The glaze on a shiny vase is solid. Most solids are opaque. You cannot see, you cannot see through them, but clear glass, glass glazes and varnishes are see-through or transparent. The glaze protects the beautiful colors and patterns of the paints beneath beneath, and allows them to slow show through. Swimming in the dry. Children enjoy, children enjoy playing in a ball pool. They can lie, roll, wade, and swim. It's similar to splashing around in a roll swimming pool of water. But without getting wet, the small, lightweight, hollow balls of the ball pool are like giant versions of the, of the tiny atom or molecule in a real liquid. They are free to move around. They flow when pushed around or poured out a bucket. Also, like a real liquid, the balls cannot be forced near together or compressed. Liquid water. Liquid liquid water is called water. In a liquid, the molecules can move around. 
fairly easily. This is why liquids flow and take up the shape of container of the container they are in. But the molecules in a liquid cannot be squashed nearer together or pulled farther apart. So liquids cannot be compressed or expanded by force. Yes, Miss Water. This is called water vapor. It floats in the it floats in the air in a gas. The molecules can move around very easily. This is why gases flow and take up the shape of the container they are in. But molecules in a gas can also be squashed nearer together or move farther apart. So a gas can be compressed into a smaller volume or expand to fill its container. Solid water. Solid water is called ice. In a solid, the molecules can move around very little. They are held in a rigid framework or patterned by bonds between them. So a solid stays in the same shape unless subject to powerful forces such as twisting or crushing. The fourth state. The three main states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas have been known since ancient times. In the 1920s, a fourth state of matter was discovered. This is known as plasma. Plasma exists at only at incredible high temperatures in nuclear power experiments or inside stars. Small amounts of plasma also form in flashes of lightning. Plasma is like gas, but some atoms lose electrons and become positive while the electrons move off freely. Charged particles such as these are called ions. So plasma is like gas, like a gas made of ions. Here is my plasma ball. We're going to be going to a different page now. We are here at the next page, table of elements. One of the basic sets of information in all of science is a list of pure chemical substances called elements. This list can be drawn as a large chart known as the periodic table of chemical elements. There are 112 elements so far discovered. Of these, about 90 are natural occurring on, occurring on and in planet Earth or among the planets and stars in space. The other elements have been made or syn synthesized in chemistry and physics. And physics laboratories. The periodic table groups the elements according to their similarities and differences. These are physical both in the way, the way their atoms are made up of similar particles and the physical features of an element, such as its weight and density. These are also chemical elements in the way that an element reacts or combines chemicals with others. Here is the periodic table of elements. We believe that the plasma ball is made up of noble gases, so we're going to be finding noble gases. So, group of elements, blue, hydrogen, and the hydrogen, alkali, and alkali, earth metals, main metals, transition, and other metals for yellow, non-metals, and sentimentals, purple, noble gases, non-metals, lathandy, and actinine series, blue. So we're going to be finding noble gases. Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. Here are the elements, the noble gases of the 112 table of elements. So what I believe is in this plasma ball is neon, argon, and xenon. 
And I think maybe Boron. My dad wonders if it's one of those four. Here is our plasma ball. So I can say that Neon is definitely in here. Here is it with the light turned off. Neon, Argon, and Xenon. Neon is number 10. Argon, 18. And Xenon, 54. And Boron, that we don't know, is number 5. That is it for today, guys. Goodbye.